All right, good day and welcome to TMP, the moving podcast with Zuri Tamoa James. And it's been a while, but I'm back now. So today, I just want to go briefly. I just want to talk about something that happened in my city, in Larry, and in my school, the school I graduated from. So there's this student, a student of 400 level student, Department of Microbiology. He's also a rapper. He allegedly, happy, how did he talk the English? He was accused of beating a senior lecturer. Which says the supervisor. Different stories now. You know, Nigerians be hearing rumor that is the supervisor. Is this so? How we accumulate all the stories I've heard? Plus the one fresh of football stead. Plus the one all blogs in learning plus that. And even now, this morning, Insta blog also posted it. I was shocked. So they said he beat up the lecturer because of um, first story was because of it not passing for his project and not let him graduate. But now, when Insta blog posted, they said um, he beat up the lecturer because of um, his sewers. SUS is a student internship, that thing we do for six months. So we did it for one year. So I think he did not complete his own or he did not do it at all. Then the lecturer failed him. Then he beat up the woman. So the, the thing is, a female lecturer and she's hold through the video I saw or through the voice I heard. Now, the thing is, I, am, I know this guy very, very well. He's a rapper. We do videos for him. My guy, Oli Skills, does video for him. Like... Help him out, like it's not like he charged him for these videos, he just helped him because he's talented, very, very talented, very, very talented rapper. But at the time, he just left, he just zoned out. I'll call it that. He just zoned out at the time. Then every time I keep asking, well, excuse me, where is Captain Wiles? That's his that is stage name, Captain Wiles. I don't know the actual name he is, yeah. He says he doesn't know that he has just not been online, he has not been dropping stuff. I have, we, have, we, have, we had a time to talk to his manager. At a point, and he said, he said he wanted to stop music because he's not paying him, and he wants to do something else. And since then, he has not heard from him. Also, so everybody don't know where he is. Even people that are so close to him don't know where he is. So, I was worried that was happening to this guy. Then suddenly he came back. They started rapping back. Then I'm like, okay, thank God this guy is back, and I'm happy. I'm happy seeing him like he's back. He even came to our place at the time to look for family that he wants to shoot video. I'm like, okay, finally this guy is back. Even did a challenge, although he lost to one of his friends. When in a, in a party, morning juice that yeah. So I was like, this guy is back finally. Very, very good rapper. Just two weeks before this happened, or a week before this happened, I was still in Elanry then. Then um, my guy confirmed, I came to me and he said, Oh, well, this guy posted some things on his star that are quite scary. I was like, What kind of thing did he post? He said, He was posting about um, some people used him. Some people left him. He's going to beat some people up. They bond them where they should meet him somewhere. They should beat him up. They should do this. They should do that. They should do this. Like, the thing is actually scary and it's only depressed being that will push that. So I'm like, are you trying to say this guy is depressed? But I didn't want to believe. Then at night, daddy, he told me that thing in the afternoon. Then at night, I heard they beat him up. Some people tried to save him and he left. And just on Friday, I was now hearing that he beat up a female lecturer. You see, at times when I talk about mental health, you guys just think I talk about it too much. It's actually real. Depression is real. People actually go through a lot and it actually messes with their head. So they start doing things they can't even do. Because this guy is a very, very cool-headed guy. I know him very, very well. I, when, when, he told, when he told me that he did this, he said that. I was like, it's a lie. It's not Captain Wiles. He can't do something like that. Until I started seeing videos that, oh, my, this guy really did this stuff. Oh. And I knew it's not normal. So people say it's a spiritual problem. But I would say this, forget about spiritual problem first. What's up with his brain? What's up with him? You can't just wake up in the morning and just pick up on beating a lecturer. Inside the school, for that matter, how will you even escape? You should know you are beating up a female lecturer. This is attempted murder. Like he beat, they, said, they said he beat up the woman, then the woman fainted. They will revive himself back. And I could see the video. She placed something on her neck. And I'm like, how? This guy really beat this woman. Let me tell you something. First, if it's my mother, you beat her. I don't, I don't even care if we be friends or not. I will beat you. I will, I will, if the guy go to the police station, I will see me they free you. Say, no worry. Say, why well, would they drag case? Well, I see they come up for you. It doesn't seem like your dates you go do meet outside, though. So the thing is, beating up a woman, number one, is a, is a very, very huge offense. Then inside the school, let's say you have one expelled for that one. Then you now attempt to she 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 fainted like she died for some time. Oh God, it's just so painful that I don't know what's up with him. I don't know what's what is going through, but I'm just pain that at times some people can't just control what they are battling, and it keeps affecting them and keep doing, making them do the things they don't want to do. 
I heard uh, some stories. He said he went to be knocking. He used to go and knock his um, level advisor's house, and the level advisor said yes. Another story, yeah. And they said he used to knock the level advisor's house in level advisor's house in the night. Ah, tongue twister, in the night. And he said that if the man should have opened the door as a den, he would have killed the man. Jesus. And this was after, this was the time they caught him. He said he used to have some people in his department that he also want to beat up to death. Like what's this guy? What's Who's making this guy do this thing? You're joking with jail. Ah, oh God. I just hope that he would get out of it very, very safe because, man, he's a very, very cool friend of mine, but this way, I don't want him to end up this way. So I don't want it, I don't want him to go to jail. I just want maybe if they will forgive him, but I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> I don't even know. Anything they want to do, it, they do, but I'm, so, I'm just so worried and pain that is happening to him. Because many people can't actually control what they go through. Many people can't control what they face. You know, you 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 see um, when you talk about depression in Nigeria, they, they will laugh at you. They say because you are broke. Mm. Most times it's because of that. But sometimes things might not be working out. Not because not the monetary aspect. Like he said it now. He told his manager. I said he's not interested in music again. He's a very very good rapper. So these are things that will be affecting him. Like, what's up with him? What, what, why, is, why are things going on this way? And if he's an overthinker, most people that are depressed are overthinkers. And if he can't control it, I'm just worried what he would do next. Because if he has gotten to the level of beating up somebody, up, <laughs> he can't actually kill himself. So I just want to say this. Please, always take care of your mental health. Take care of your mental health. It's very, very paramount. It's like the most important part of your body currently. Because even Nigeria has given us enough to even think about. Talk more of the world as you talk more of what you personally are going through. So always know that this thing called your mental health should be very, very paramount to you. And she's something you don't joke with. She don't joke with it at all. And I just pray that God just give us the ability to control it. Because I, I don't I don't think I know any, I'm not a therapist. You can only go and say a therapist, but me, I'll just tell you, God could be anybody that's going through anything in this world that is making them think or is making them depressed. I just pray that God will soften your heart and give you everything you want and make you happy again. All right, that's it for today's episode. I want to say thank you for listening and for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. I love you all.